I'm outside Crocker, Missouri today at Mitchell Cemetery. Uh, it's kind of a, I can't really say it's that spooky, but it does have a certain feel to it. I discovered this place about 14 years ago. Uh, one of my friends was from this area and he brought us here. It was three of us. My daughter and her friend came. And so we came out here a couple of different times and uh, didn't know it was haunted. I didn't know it was haunted until later on. I don't think they were aware of that either. But anyway, the only thing I could say that we felt different at this place was it felt heavy. Our bodies felt heavy. We all agreed. We just, when we walked, it felt like we were going up a hill, but we, we weren't. I mean, it's a, a little bit hilly here, but not, not really. It's not so hilly to where if we were walking around, we, we felt like we were going up this big old hill and we weren't really. Anyway, so that's one thing about this place is you physically feel heavy like the gravities we nicknamed it gravity graveyard so i didn't know till a few years later that it's actually called mitchell cemetery and online the story goes that there was a family with the last name mitchell and they had i would assume right through here they had like a church and a house right here and a cemetery all together so somewhere near here the cemetery was a church and maybe a house of this prominent family with the last name Mitchell that lived around Crocker. Well, they ended up getting murdered. I don't know the whole story of it. I'd like to find out more about that story. So they were found murdered. Uh, not too long after that, the church and the house burnt down. So that's the story on this area here. And I think this, this must have started out as the Mitchell Cemetery. Okay, so I found all that out, like, a couple of years, two or three years after, maybe longer than that, maybe like six or seven years after, we used to come here and just mess around and <laughs> stuff back then. Um, oh yeah, up here somewhere is a grave of Mary Mitchell. This online it said, if you knock on the grave of Mary Mitchell and ask a question, she'll answer you. Well, uh, several years after the 14 years that I first came here, uh, my same friends, my two guy friends, we came here and found that grave. It's over here somewhere. So we did some audio. And right when I turned it on, we did hear a voice. A woman's voice. And I don't remember what it sounded like it was saying. Yeah, here it is. Mary, Mary A. Mitchell. So online it says that if you come up here and ask her a question, she'll answer you. Let's see, born March 20th, 1985, died, or maybe that says she died in 1895, November 18th. Maybe that's a two or a three. One of the times I came here, I did catch an orb by a grave over that way. And then back here, there's some small graves. Now, just a couple of years ago, I brought another friend here, and his fiance uh, was kind of, I can't really say that she was psychic, but she really felt, I'm like that a little bit, but she was really like this. You know, she could feel the energy of places. So we were way down here, got out of the car. Right when she got out, she was drawn to come down to these little graves right here. And as we were walking down, she said, I just feel like there's kids buried there. Something's really calling me to these graves down here. I feel like there's children. And I can't remember, I can't remember if I ever read what the names were and ages of these, but seems like I did one time. I forgot what they said. Okay, so here's a Stanley, son of, their last name's Claiborne. Okay, died September 20th, 1900. So I'm wondering if that's one of the children that, but their last name would have been Mitchell though. I 
1788 to 89. Looks like Claiborne. Oh, let's see, 1981. An infant. 1891. What did I say over here? 89. Can't really read this one. Same last night, Clausen or whatever I said. Claiborne, that's what it was. So anyway, with these graves right through here, there was something my friend's fiance was really drawn to and she even got emotional over here. She just started crying. <laughs> I mean, that's how much she was feeling it, whatever she was feeling. I mean, I get vibes at places, but not like she does. She went to a couple of graveyards that day, and she was, there was another one at a different graveyard where she was really drawn, and it was some kind of couple that had died, and uh, she felt, she felt good about that. She felt like they were saying, come here, come visit us. <laughs> So this is Mitchell Cemetery. I might wait around until it gets dark, take a few pictures. I doubt I'll catch anything. Because I always say, even if a cemetery or any kind of place is really haunted, you it's hit or miss. You may or may not catch anything on camera or audio. Claiborne. So let me look around for some more Mitchells here. So this is probably the newest grave in this cemetery because a lot of these are really, really old. It's just about to get dark. See, I'm thinking since this land over here is cleared off back there, I'm thinking that's probably where the house and church was. I didn't see any more Mitchells. There very well could be. Cause some of these you can't even read the names or dates on them. Looks like Hancock is another name here. And this one died August 1928. There's a Hancock. One in 1942 and one in 1928. And here's another one. One of them died September Francis, September 2019, 2015, June and Francis. Well, that's Mitchell Cemetery for you, which I had been calling Gravity Graveyard for years. <laughs> yeah, I'm standing out here now. It does feel kind of heavy, and you feel heavier. It's a slight slope, but not, not like a hill, like I said. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.